Hey guys, so I'm back with another uh, video working on this 2013 G63. Um, this time I'm going to be pulling the rear bumper off because I need to replace the, uh, the backup sensors. I got four here that I got off eBay. They're supposed to be original Mercedes parts. Um, I hope they work. And then I've also got these new reverse lights which re replace both the reverse light and the backup light. Um, and they both end up being, uh, oh no, sorry, I mean the reverse light and the fog light. So, and then I'm assuming they're both supposed to end up being reverse lights and fog lights. Um, so it kind of, these kind of match the tail lights and uh, they kind of should make the back end look a little newer um, by getting rid of these old style lights that are on the back. So I had a look underneath and it looked to me like the easiest way to get to the the parking sensors on these lights would be to pull the bumper off because I think the bumper is only held down by a few bolts so um, I'm gonna get in there and take a look and hopefully uh, it'll come off without too much trouble so it looks like there's uh, four brackets that hold the bumper on there is two sets of 16 millimeter bolts on the outsides and then there's two sets of 13 millimeters on the inside so we'll pull those bolts off and uh, then there's a bunch of wiring in there so we'll find the connectors and uh, disconnect it and then drop the bumper hopefully.
got the last bolt out. For whatever reason, it's always the last bolt that's the most difficult. I don't know why. Looks like there's a bolt that uh, holds the, the fender flares on. Yeah, there's actually a 10 mil nut that uh, bolts the fender flare to the bumper. So you got to take that off too. The bolt goes through and there's actually a bumper support there too that uh, holds it on so there's a bolt and a nut you gotta hold in place. So I'm gonna get a socket and a wrench.
Okay, so this is what came out of there. Um, this is very rusty. This is the bolt that holds the bumper to the the, the uh, fender flare, and it's this bolt's garbage. I'm gonna have to replace this bolt, and I'm assuming the one on the other side too. You can see it's like rusted halfway through, and I mean this thing's not even 10 years old, so I'm surprised there's this many rust issues on it. Um, this is the, the bolt that holds the uh, the bumper support to the bumper. So this one's okay, it comes, it's got a little spacer. Um, but yeah, these bolts here, they're, they're garbage. So that's why it, uh, I had a little trouble removing them because they're just rusted right in place. Now let's see if that's everything.
Okay, so it looks like these license plate lights need to come out because the connectors don't disconnect. Okay, that's that. So this is what it looks like with this bumper removed. So to kind of show you how it, so it works. So this is your wire for your uh, fog light. This is, that's your one license plate light wire. That's your other license plate light. That's your backup light. And over here, that's our connector for the, uh, the parking sensors. And so what I was removing earlier, you can kind of see in there. So you've got this bumper support here, the rusty one. And then you've got a bolt here this one's actually a lot less rusty than the one on the other side this thing was focused um it's still pretty rusty but this is the one that goes through the fender flare and bolts to the bumper and this is our back side of our bumper here so now so this is our bumper side harness for the parking sensors and it's full of dirt in there so I might wash it out first, which is probably a good idea to do. And these are the brackets which hold the bumper to the to the vehicle. Um, you can see there's adjustment in them, so when you're putting it back on, you kind of want to put the bolts back where they were. You can kind of see, so that way you get your body lines correct when you're putting it back together. Um, and so, I guess I need to take these. Off. I think these are our blind spot sensors here so and peri periodically I, I would get a, an error um, for the blind spot sensors so I'm thinking maybe there might be a wiring issue rather than uh, an issue with the sensors themselves but what I'll do for now since I've got the sensors is I'll I'll replace the outer ones because this, that's the ones that was telling me that uh, have a problem and then I'll connect it back up and see if they work and if they don't work um, then I think it's going to be a wiring issue and I may just need to get a new harness for the bumper there is a part number on the harness so um, and it does look like it's seen better days so I might have to go that route but anyway for now let's try the new sensors and See what happens.
Okay, so I take this side cover off here and uh, hopefully get to the sensor on the outside. Probably hold this thing out. Okay, so I've gave it a little bit of a wash on the inside here. So as you can see, all this dirt and debris and sand kind of builds up in the corners here. And so you can see there's still a bunch in there. I haven't been able to get out just yet. I'll give it another wash after. But so the computer is telling me that it's these outside sensors that I have an issue with. But like I say, it could also be an issue with the wiring. Because, I mean, here it looks okay. But over here, kind of where it passes through, and there was a whole bunch of dirt there. Sometimes wires, when they're just surrounded by dirt like that, they'll just get corroded. So... Anyway, like I say, since I've already got the new sensors, I'm going to try those first and uh, see what happens. The sensor is just held in by two clips, so you spread the clips apart and you pull the sensor out. I think I'm gonna fire up my compressor and get some compressed air to blow the blow the plug out because I don't really want to uh, damage the plug because then even if I don't need a new harness now, I will need one later if I do end up damaging the plug. Okay, so all my compressors go in here. I started looking at these reverse lights. So this is the new harness. <coughs> so this is the new harness that comes with them. Um, the instructions tell you to connect one set to the reverse lights and one set to the upper tail lights, which I'm assuming then what would happen is the surround part of the light would come on when your tail lights are on, which I don't really want. Um, so what I'll do instead, I think, is I'll actually hook it up to the fog light like it's supposed to be. Um, and then that way, I'm not gonna have any issues. Um, and I also don't want too many weird lights on on the back so I'm gonna try it that way and see what it does but for now I think we should have enough air pressure to, uh, to blow those connectors out Left 
side sensor. So let's plug the new ones in and then we can uh, plug our harness back in and then we'll put it in reverse and we'll see what happens. These are the new sensors that I got. Um, it looks like they didn't come with these rubber surrounds, so you'll have to transfer those. I can just transfer those over. But otherwise, they look identical. Part number is the same. So let's plug them in and we'll see what happens. And what's nice about these, these already came painted black. Apparently they usually don't come painted. So. Okay, so I've got the new sensors in. Now we'll uh, now we'll plug our harness back in. Should hopefully be long enough. Okay, so now let's go turn the car on and we'll see what it does. Okay, so I'm just an idiot, I guess. I scanned the codes, didn't get any code, new codes for uh, parking sensors. So <laughs> what actually needs to happen is I have my e-brake on. So your e-brake has to be off for your parking sensors to work. So now we put it in reverse and uh, the fronts are working. The rears, you can see, um, obviously I have the bumper down on the ground, so it's showing me that there is a uh, an obstacle there, but obviously there isn't. But I think we've got the issue solved at the moment. So now we just need to put the new lights in and uh, we should be good to go. Let's uh, scan it here again and see if we got any new codes. This is, if I've always had this code, I have no idea what that code is for. Um, but got no parking sensor codes, which is good, I guess. And let's see what the reading is, if it changes. It looks like they're all changing. It's, I don't think it works when the, when it's not in reverse. Let me move the bumper 
and I'll see if those values actually change. Move this thing out of the way. So now, I'm not sure what it's gonna pick up, but let's see. It's still showing eight feet, which is I guess the, whatever value, the standard value. So now it's going off on the other side. It's kind of strange because, well, I guess that means the other ones aren't picking anything up, just the left rear is now pick, picking something up. So. so let's put something in front of it now on the other side. So I guess the left rear is picking up the toolbox here. So let's put this, put this chair right here. That should be in the way. Let's see what it does now. Oh, now it's reading it live. So you can see that now it's picking up uh, right rear. It's working, which is good. Okay, so now we can go ahead and pull these lights off. They're just held in by two 8 mil nuts. These may or may not break, they're pretty rusty. Yep, there goes one. You have to unbolt them all the way these holes are slotted so anyway there's the reverse light so these are the new lights i hope they came with new nuts because if they didn't i'm gonna have to find some and they kind of they just slot in the same way um actually it doesn't look like they came with new nuts which is unfortunate so now i need to go hunt for some nuts Okay, so I was able to salvage the uh, the one nut from the broken stud, um, but it is kind of annoying that these uh, new lights just wouldn't come with new nuts. It doesn't make much sense. But anyway, I'm gonna put some Never Seize on these and uh, reuse them, I guess, because I can't find any with the same size because these are pretty small. the other ones some uh, penetrating oil which is now rolling away are pretty rusty but we'll be gentle take them off so we can reuse them Okay. 
kit. So now we'll run the new harness. So it tells you in the instructions that black and red wire is upper tail light, which I'm gonna hook up to the fog light. And blue and black wire is for the reverse light. In my case, this wire is green, not blue, but I'm assuming that's what it is. So we wanna hook this side up on this side. Now they also come with these resistors that they want you to put on. It's got double sided tape on the back and each light has a plug for these. Um, it says to attach them to something metallic. Um, there's obviously plastic. There's these brackets here that uh, I guess that's where I'm gonna have to put them. But I'm not gonna attach them yet. I'll plug them in. Um, but I want to reinstall the bumper first so that they're not my way of putting the bolts in. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to run the harness along where the parking sensor harness runs. Um, but to do that, you got to take these uh, inside brackets off. So I'll unbolt those quickly and then I could run the harness nice and tidy in there and it does come with a few zip ties that they give you so you can just put it on there Now I'll take the extra slack and just kind of zip tie it up here. light wire which is I don't know why it's so long but it is um, I'm assuming there's a black on I mean there's a brown on both sides on the vehicle side it doesn't say the pure I mean the pictures are black and white so I have no idea but I'm assuming the brown's negative 
So I'm going to plug the black wire into the brown and these connectors are very loose. I don't like how loose these are. These are both together, which isn't ideal. What you're going to want to do is take a pair of pliers and just squish these connectors down a little bit because they're they were way too loose on mine. Um, if this is the same on yours, then. Uh, just squish them down so they, uh, you get a good connection and they don't pop off. And then I'm just going to tape them up. Um, I mean, the one's a ground wire, so it doesn't really matter all that much, but I just don't like exposed wires. extra wire here. I'll probably just take it like so and zip tie it with the factory harness. our fog light wire on this side. Probably need to do the same thing, squish these down. So we have a black and a red, so the black will go to the brown. Same thing, tape them up. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, put the bumper back on. We'll reconnect everything. Oh, and we need to put our covers back on actually before we do that.
the fun part of lining everything back up. All right, so I'm just finishing putting this bumper back on. I kind of got it uh, all lined up. I'm just gonna button up all these wires that are hanging down, use some zip ties, and uh, tighten everything back up. I kind of left everything loose. I wanted to have a look and make sure all my gaps were even, um, and make sure that uh, the bumper was in the same place as it was before. So I'm just gonna finish tightening everything up, and then we can test these new lights out.
Okay, we can start. Get our license plate lights back in. And then I think we're all done. So I stuck those resistors onto the inside brackets, um, just kind of out of the way. So that seemed to work fine. Okay, let's give it a test. Okay, so this is in reverse with the fog lights on. Fog lights off. Now, I don't know if the reverse lights aren't on because the e-brake is on. This is in reverse now. Okay, so the reverse lights work. It's reverse lights with the fog lights. Everything seems to work. All right, so that's pretty much it for the rear ends. The parking sensors work, the lights work. So I'll give this thing a quick wash. It's pretty dirty and uh, time to go for dinner. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good one.